Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny. Stop! What the heck, Stacy? <laughs> Girl, look up! I just saved your life. They banned Christmas music. This is ridiculous. I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Who is that? It's Mr. Smith. He's singing Jingle Bells. He has his AirPods in. Mr. Smith, stop! One horse open. No. Sweetheart, you got to smile. It's picture day. Come on. I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh. Not today. Ew! You got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh, no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ma'am, you do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! So glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks, I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. <gasps> Someone is seriously out to get me. <laughs> oh gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry, did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet. And here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. Oh! I'm not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a... This way. Let's go. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. Oh. I'm not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a- This way. Let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually a great idea. Right? Okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know. Your hands are kind of shaky, so- Jake, I'm fine. Just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake- I'm kidding. Chill. Here, take the- I'm safe- <sighs> but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um... Why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop, stop looking. Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because... That's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it said dress? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe... This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Sit in the elimination chair and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? 
I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me, when I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops, now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay, just choose to save yourself. No, Dad, I'm not gonna make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. <sighs> Wrong answer. Oh, Dad, don't. Please, please wait. You must learn, son, to never put a woman first in your relationship. What the? Real interesting philosophy you have about relationships. It's no wonder ours ended in divorce. Mom? What the hell do you think you're doing? Banning something that should actually be illegal. Goodbye, goon number one, and goodbye, goon number two. That's for taking my son away from me. Mom, you, you just killed Dad. I know, honey. It had to be done. Hey, sweetheart, open your eyes. We have to get out of here. Come on, you can trust me. Thanks. This way. Where are we? The room with the deactivation button. What? Well, what are you waiting for? Press it! No! Whoever presses the button dies. Mom, I'll press it. Jake, no, please. The system has to be stopped. You're right, but not by you. No, no. Mom! I love you. <laughs> mom? No, Mom. The system's down. She saved everyone. My parents, they're... they're both gone. Jake, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Promise. Promise you won't ever leave me. Jake, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, she... she would have wanted us to be happy. We have to run. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, are you okay? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna stick together, right? Always. I'm so glad I have you. Me too. There's something I've been meaning to do. Soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough. I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute. I like it. Okay, okay. We have to go to the party now. Hey, Bree, nice dress. Thanks. <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I'm <coughs> I better go. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious. You could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am going to get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. 
Yeah, must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand, because I... Ah, uh, you caught me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. Ugh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's going to do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now, there's no one left to save you. You know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand, what do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were gonna use you as bait to get to him. But we're gonna make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be- Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. He's still alive, so we're moving you to a different little- oh, 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 not today. Oh. Hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill it. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand, huh? <laughs> hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy? <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's worth a shot. Sweet. Whoa, it totally worked! And now, it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight, and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little... <laughs> Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush! But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me, I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend, please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. If I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop. Mom, let go, please, you're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that! Where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Wanna play Mother May I for a chance to win 50 million? 
I always wanted a mother and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But... Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you were a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No, you may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait, I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't, because I know you care about me. If you were going to kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. You can? Yes. She's closer than you think. Your real mother is- Shut her off! Mother powering down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also your real mother. No. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also your real mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry, because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking, instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play.
Mom, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. All right, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but please don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes and... Please don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please, then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her, tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy. But I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm i just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then <sighs> fine i'll allow it she did great and we should have the results in 48 hours hi is this miss monroe i'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your dna test wow that was fast and yes it is so according to our test it looks like emily is not your biological child are you are you sure yes ma'am i'm so sorry i hate to be the bearer of bad news no it's it's okay so what'd they say Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid and I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? That look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Ah, you scared me. Good. Now, where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll- Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, 
Why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Let go of me. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. No. Shh, guys, I heard something. Emily! Emily! Get her to room 203. Ma'am, you cannot be in here. Please, I, I just want to know what's wrong with her. She's very dehydrated. Do you know how long she was in that closet for? No, I, I don't. This is all my fault. I should have cut to her sooner. Excuse me. Your daughter is awake now. You can come and see her. Mommy? Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> what's wrong? I thought you left me. Emily, I promise you, I am never going to leave you again, okay? No, my foster mom's going to come back. Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen, your foster mom is not coming back. I'm going to take care of you from now on. Promise? I promise. Now, you get some rest, okay, honey? Okay. Excuse me, Miss Monroe, there's a Daniel Knight here to see you. What? Mm-hmm, he's claiming to be the father of Emily. Daniel? Hey, how is she? How did you know we were here? Are you kidding? You and her are all over the news. How is she? Let me go see her. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. You took off the day that she was born because you didn't realize how difficult raising a kid would be. Look, I, I was 16, okay? So was I, and you left me alone with her. You know, if you didn't leave, I probably wouldn't have given her up in the first place. Oh, so you're saying this is all my fault? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just don't think right now is a good time for you to see her. She's been through enough shock. Please, Allie. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to just walk back in here and start being her parent again. Isn't that what you did? <sighs> no, that was different. How? Face it, we're in the same boat here. We both made mistakes. You had a chance to fix yours. Now it's my turn. The doctor said she's going to be okay. She just needs to sleep. Wow, she's... She's beautiful. She definitely got her looks from you. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's going to adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're going to come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top, and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers. Oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry. We're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow. I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. 
Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. Do you want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie! Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- <phone rings> Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm. honey. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She's- Oh! Oh! oh you broke my hand, you little- oh. Oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White! Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey... Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for lasers! <laughs> Get the glasses quickly! Bad kid. <sighs> Hurry doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, uh, get away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... Strong. That's right, honey. Get him! No, stop! Oh, Mouth is going- oh. You. Dead. Oh my gosh, Mom! I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy, you find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my! Mom, it kinda looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my! I don't know, it kinda looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Miner, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana! No! Bien dare! Kill! Ma! Sa! Family! Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help? Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. 
<laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. I can't open. I still weak. Get back. He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? Okay, pick a babysitter. A navy seal or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the seal. You do realize it's not the animal seal? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up! She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that. And you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh. They don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, speaking of duty, <laughs> I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait! Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. Shh, it's gonna be okay. Sarah! Are you okay? No, there was a scary guy outside my window. What? Your security has been compromised. What is going on? Listen, there's a reason your mother hired me to watch over you guys. I'll explain. So let me get this straight. Our dad was a spy, and now the bad guys that were after him are after us? Yes. They're after a stolen laptop your dad had retrieved before he died. Somebody tried to break in today, but I'm gonna protect you guys, I promise. You guys need to wear these. What does this do? It's a tracking bracelet. Will this help keep us safe? Yes, it's so I can keep track of you. Is this yours? I found it in dad's office. Sadie, you know you're not supposed to be down there, and this isn't mine. Wait a minute, didn't Neff the babysitter say that the bad guys were after a stolen laptop? Do you hear that sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Do you hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Mm -hmm. Susie! You let her go! <laughs> let go of her! Sadie! Come here! <laughs> give me the laptop now. Okay, okay, just take it. Finally. You have what you want, now let them go. I don't think so. Take them to the other room. No! Sadie, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry, the babysitter, he's gonna save us. Do you mean this babysitter? Neff! <sighs> no one can save you now. 
Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you! Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my eye! I'm scared. It's gonna be alright, let's get you free. Oh. Neff, come oh. on, wake up! Oh. <sighs> what, what happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and- What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight? You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go Neff, go Neff, kick his ass. Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for protecting my girls. Of course, Miss Lane. Those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls. Please. As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. All right, it's fine with me. Yay.